Welcome to one liter passivated sample cylinder with eductor tube training for the performance of ISBT liquid CO2 sampling. Warning, before sampling, review the MSCS information on liquid CO2. Sampling must be performed in a well-ventilated area by personnel trained in handling pressurized cryogenic gases. Safety glasses, cryogenic safety gloves, and other necessary equipment must be worn. QC personnel should follow all tank truck delivery inspection protocols, including confirming truck identification number and receiving and checking all other necessary CO2 load paperwork received from the driver against their internal documents. Checking all truck security tags for integrity and proper identification number match before truck driver removes any security tags. Once all receiving paperwork and security checks have been made, the truck can be prepared by the driver for proper CO2 handling procedures to be performed by the boiler's QC staff. Before sampling, examine all equipment. Check for cleanliness, tight-fitting union connections, proper purge assembly, no port tread damage, smooth valve operation, secure valve closure, proper burst disc rating, overall hardware integrity. Airborne Labs 1 liter cylinders are shipped with 2 to 3 pounds of helium pressure. The valves are in a closed position and the end caps are securely tightened. This prevents oxygen and moisture incursion during the shipping process. During your cylinder inspection, if the end caps are unsecured or the valves are in the open position, longer perch times during sample collection procedure may be needed. A 1900 PSIG burst disc is the correct rating for a 1 liter liquid CO2 sampling cylinder. When removing the end caps, the thread should be examined for damage. Damaged threads could introduce contaminants during the sampling process. Ensure that the cylinder's five-year hydrostatic test period has not expired. Do not use the cylinder if it is beyond this retest date. Record all ID data on an ID tag. Remove both cylinder end caps. Connect the elbow fitting to the SPC 1 liters inlet fitting and then insert the 1 liter cylinder into vertical support assembly. Orient the elbow to point away from the valve. Orient the elbow to point away from the valve. and then insert the 1 liter cylinder into vertical support assembly. The cylinder's decal should be pointing upward. Securely attach the Sprout 1900 ST5 SPVA transfer line assembly to both a closed liquid CO2 sample source valve and also to the 1 liter cylinder via the inlet valve elbow fitting. Ensure the perch port valve is pointed away from you and all other equipment. It is recommended to orient the perch port outlet at about a 45 degree angle towards the ground. 
Open the transfer line purge valve at this point. Carefully open the liquid CO2 source valve and allow the transfer line to vigorously purge for about one minute. With the liquid CO2 source valve and purge valve open, fully open the 1 liter cylinder's inlet port valve, which will start the filling of the cylinder with liquid phase CO2. Immediately crack open the cylinder's outlet port valve about half to three quarters turn to allow all residual CO2 gas from a previous sample or any entrained air to vent. Once cylinder filling has started, close purge valve. This gentle filling venting step should result in a modestly loud hissing sound, but not an annoyingly loud sound. The SPC 1 liter cylinder wall should show a rising frost line as liquid CO2 filling begins. As soon as sputtering snow appears from the cylinder's outlet port, close the 1 liter cylinder's outlet valve. Next, close the 1 liter's inlet valve, then open the purge valve. When performed properly, 1 liter cylinder filling takes about 1 minute. Close the liquid CO2 source valve. Allow the transfer line to completely depressurize with the purge valve open. Carefully open the top valve and vent off any liquid CO2 overfill as a sputtering snow stream. Continue to vent off any excess liquid CO2 until the snow stream visibly and audibly changes into oil vapor. Next, close the cylinder outlet valve. The liquid CO2 fill will now be below the dip tube. In this state, a 1 liter cylinder contains a safe fill amount of liquid CO2 that is less than 68% of its water weight capacity. Typically, a 450 to 600 gram fill of liquid CO2 is achieved. Disconnect the entire transfer line assembly, first from the elbow fitting on the 1 liter cylinder inlet port and then from the liquid CO2 source valve. Do not allow this transfer line to contact the ground at any time. Close the purge valve wipe off all surface moisture, and store this assembly in a zippered bag. Listen for any valve leaks from the cylinder. Do not use any soap bubble leak detection agents or immerse the cylinder in water. Use only audio sensory methods or an electronic leak detector. Do not ship any leaking cylinder. If no leaks are detected, Properly attach all lanyard secured port caps and ensure that all needed sample ID information is entered onto the sample ID tag and analysis request form. Wipe off all surface moisture from all hardware, properly repack all sampling equipment and insert a completed analysis request form into the shipping case. Insert the laminated hazmat label placard into the clear plastic sleeve affixed on the shipping case's lid. Securely close and clamp the shipping container and affix security tags to the lip rings on this container. Record the numbers on these tags. Insert all completed courier hazmat paperwork and CO2 MSDS into a courier provided document pouch and securely affix this pouch to the shipping case's handle. Properly ship the sample container to the appropriate analytical testing lab as dangerous goods using an express courier service option. All staff involved with hazmat shipping must be hazmat certified to do so. Thank you for participating in the SPC 1 liter series passivated sample cylinder training. Questions can be directed to your instructor or sent to Airborne Labs International.